Yo guys, what is up? This is Tom from Unreal Mad and welcome back to a brand new video. In this quick tutorial, I will show you how to blend Megascan's assets with the ground in Unreal Engine 5. So in the past, I've made a video on how to do this in Unreal Engine 4, but it's got a little bit more complicated now. So if you're still using Unreal Engine 4, go ahead and watch that video. But for the people who use Unreal Engine 5, this is it. So first you have to go to this little tab right here and go to Quixel Bridge and a new window will open and then you can just grab it and drag it into your content browser if you like or just leave it open. Then you have to log in and you can search for materials and assets and get them from here. So it's a bit more easier than before. And I've got this Icelandic surface so let's get this material as our landscape material. And of course you can see tiling, but this is okay for this video. And then you grab the rock or another asset and drag it onto the ground. And let's zoom in. And now that is the seam that we don't want to have. So let's go into the asset. And then we have to scroll down until you see this M underscore M as default material and go into that. From here you can see all the textures that are adjustable and we need to go into this adjustments node. Okay, and now we see the pixel depth offset right here and again right here and we need to plug it into both of these nodes. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is grab a Dither Temporal AA and from here we grab a Multiply node and this goes into the A channel and then we right click and search for Scalar Parameter and let's call this Blending and this goes into the B. Now we can plug this output into the Pixel Def Offset and also do that on the top node and then you can save your material. Okay, now we can close these two materials and we are on our rock material. And now if you scroll down, you should see the global scalar parameter values. And we got this blending right here. So let's make this window smaller. And if we zoom in at that material and adjust this value. So here you can see how it gets blended with the ground. So let's make this a bit lower, like that. And you can see how the blending is going on. And I would recommend not to go too strong on this effect, just a tiny bit. So you can see the very little difference here. But yeah, it makes some difference if you go further away. Like that and just leave it at a small value. And also what you can do is go to the albedo tint and give it another color so it matches with the ground. So I give it a bit more blue, like that. At this part right here, you can see it blends very well. If we are further away, you can't really see the seams anymore and it just looks way nicer. Okay, and that's it for the tutorial, guys. I hope you liked it. If yes, leave a thumbs up. If no, leave a thumbs down. I'll see you next time, and bye.